welcome back everybody today we're going to continue with the past questions and the next one is number 11 let's go straight to it evaluate the integral with limit 2 1 of 2 plus 2x minus 3x squared which is back to x that simply means the integral of 2 is 2x plus the integral of 2x is 2x squared over 2 which is x squared minus the integral of 3x squared is 3x cubed over 3 which is x cubed and we put the limit 2 1 and that simply means 2 times 2 plus 2 squared minus 2 cubed minus 2 times 1 plus 1 squared minus 1 cubed which is 2 squared 2 times 2 is 4 plus 4 that's 8 minus 2 cubed is 8 that's 8 minus 8 which is 0 minus this is 2 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 minus 1 that's 2 and the answer is minus 2 so that's it simply minus 2 and we go straight to the next which is number 12 a rectangle has a perimeter of 24 meters perimeter is 24 meters that means 2 into l plus b is 24 if its area is to be a maximum find its dimension if we divide both sides by 2 l plus b will be equal to 12 now we know that area is length times breadth which is lb when the area is maximum the derivative of that area is going to be zero so before we find that derivative let's express the area in terms of b if l plus b is 12 that simply means that simply means if l plus b is 12 that simply means l is 12 minus b now area will be 12 minus b times b which simply means 12b minus b squared so that means the derivative of the area with respect to the breadth is going to be zero for the area to be a maximum and that simply means 12 minus 2b which is the derivative of 12b minus b minus b squared equals zero and that means 12 equals 2b which means b equals 6 and that therefore means l is 12 minus 6 which is 6 so the dimension of a rectangle is 6 6 length 6 and breadth 6 we go straight to the next which is express 7 pi over 6 radians in degrees what we do is 7 pi over 6 radians is the same as 7 pi over 6 times 180 degrees over pi. When we are changing pi radians to degrees, we multiply by the ratio 180 degrees over pi. And when we are changing degrees to pi radians, we multiply by the ratio pi over 180 degrees. So here we have pi cancels pi, 6 here, 1, 6 here, 30 degrees. And 7 times 30 degrees means 210 degrees. Straight to the next, which is number 14. If P is equal to 1 minus 2, 3, 4, and Q is minus 2, 3, 1, 0, find PQ. PQ is going to be 1 minus 2, 3, 4, minus 2, 3 1 0 and that means here we are going to multiply all the rows in the first matrix by each of the columns in the second so i'm doing i'm multiplying all the rows in the first by the first column of the second matrix one times minus two that's minus two plus minus two times one that's minus two so i'm just going to write minus two 
Now the next is 3 times minus 2, that's minus 6, plus 4 times 1, that's 4. And then we go again. We are multiplying all the rows in the first by the second column. 1 times 3, that's 3, plus minus 2 times 0, that's 0. And the next will be 3 times 3, that's 9 plus 4 times 0, that's 0. So we have, and that becomes minus 4, minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2, 3 plus 0 is 3, and 9 plus 0 is 9. And that's the answer, minus 4, 3, minus 2, 9. Now to the next quickly, that's number 16. Find the locus of point, points which is equidistant from P. 4 we coordinates 4, 5 and K we coordinates minus 6, 1. So P has coordinates 4, 5 and Q has coordinates minus 6, 1. Minus 6, minus 1. The, local, the locus of point which is equidistant from PQ is a perpendicular bisector of PQ. So its own coordinates will be half x1 plus x2 and that means 4 minus 6 4 plus minus 6 over 2 which is 4 minus 6 over 2 and then half y1 plus y2 which is 5 plus minus 1 over 2 which means 5 minus 1 over 2 and that's going to be 4 minus 6 is minus 2 minus 2 over 2 is minus 1 5 minus 1 is 4 4 over 2 is 2 so the coordinates of the midpoint will be minus 1 2 those are the coordinates of the midpoint of the line. Now, to find the equation of the locus, we need to find its gradient first of all. And we can find that from the gradient of PQ. Let the gradient of PQ be M1. That will be Y2 minus Y1 minus 5 over minus, minus 5 minus, minus 1 minus 5 over X2 minus X1. That's minus 6 minus 4, which is minus 6 over minus 10. And that's 3 over 5. So that means the gradient of the locus, which is perpendicular to PQ, is going to be minus 1 divided by 3 over 5, which is minus 5 over 3. We know that when two lines are perpendicular, the product of their gradient is minus 1. So if you know M1, M2 will be minus 1 divided by M1. Now, therefore, the locus is Y minus Y1 equals M into X minus X1. We are using the formula for the equation of a line passing through one point so that's y minus y1 which means y minus 2 equals m which is minus 5 over 3 into bracket x minus x1 which is x minus minus 1 and that simply means y minus 2 equals minus 5 over 3 into bracket x plus 1 and we can multiply through by 3 to clear the fraction and that simply means 3y minus 6 equals minus 5 into bracket x plus 1, which means 3y minus 6 equals minus 5x minus 5. Now I'm moving everything on the right hand side to the left hand side. And then we have 3y minus 6 plus 5x plus 5 equals 0 which simply means 5x plus 3y minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1 equals 0 and the correct option is D straight to the next which is number 17 a binary operation asterisk is defined on the set R of real numbers by A asterisk B equals A squared plus B plus AB for what find the value of X for which 5 asterisks x equals 37 that simply means 5 squared plus x plus a b a is 5 here and x is b so that means a squared 5 squared plus b plus which means x which means plus x plus a b which means 5 times x and that's 5x equals 37 so that simply means 25 plus 6x equals 37 and that means 6x equals 37 minus 25, 
which means 6x equals 12 and that simply means x equals 2 so that's it very simply number number 18 find the derivative of 3x squared plus 1 over x squared let y be 3x squared plus 1 over x squared and that's the same as 3x squared plus x to the power minus 2 so the derivative of y which is dy dx is the same as 6x plus minus 2x to the power minus 3 which simply means 6x minus 2x to the power minus 3 and that's the same as 6x minus 2 over x cubed and the correct option is c now to the next which is number 19 the coefficient of the coefficient of the fifth term in the binomial expansion of 1 plus kx raised to power 8 is the coefficient of the fifth term in the binomial expansion of 1 plus kx raised to power 8 in ascending powers of x is 35 y8 find the value of constant k okay that's simple this simply means when we expand this when we expand 1 plus kx raised to power 8 the coefficient of the fifth term is going to be 35 y8 so let's see in the expansion the power of 1 decreases across the expansion and that of kx increases across the expansion so we go this way 1 raised to power 8 kx raised to power 0 plus the second term is 8 combination 1 1 raised to power 7 we have said the power of 1 decreases across the expansion and that of kx increases so that's what we are seeing here plus 8 combination 2 1 raised to power 6 kx raised to power 2 plus 8 combination 3 1 raised to power 5 kx raised to power 3 plus how many times do we have now 1 2 3 4 now the fifth term 8 combination 4 1 raised to power 4 kx raised to power 4 this is the fifth term so that really means we don't need the remaining terms that really means 8 combination 4 1 is power 4 kx is power 4 is equal to let me write out the fifth term is equal to 8 combination 4 is 70 1 is power 4 is still 1 kx is power 4 is k is power 4 x is power 4 so the coefficient of x is therefore 7 k raised to power 4 so that simply means 70k raised power 4 is 35 over 8 and that means k raised power 4 equals 35 over 8 times divided by 70 means times 1 over 70 and that means 35 here 1 35 here 2 and that's 1 over 16 which means k equals fourth root of 1 over 16 which is 1 over 2 so k is therefore 1 over 2 now to the next which is number 20 given that f prime of x is equal to 3x squared minus 6x plus 1 and f of 3 is 5 find f of x f of 3 equals 5 f of x is the same as the integral of f prime of x so that simply means the integral of 3x squared minus 6x plus 1 with respect to x so that simply means the integral of 3x squared is 3x cubed over 3 which is x cubed minus the integral of 6x is 6x squared over 2 which is 3x squared plus the integral of 1 with respect to x is x plus c so that means f of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared plus x plus c now to find x we know that f of 3 is 5 that simply means which simply means 3 cubed 
minus 3 times 3 squared plus 3 plus c equals 5. So 3 cubed is 27 minus 3 times 3 squared is 27. 27 minus 27 is 0 plus 3. That's 3. That simply means 3 plus c equals 5. And c equals 5 minus 3. C equals 5 minus 3, which is equal to 2. Therefore, we can express f of f, f of x completely, which is x cubed minus 3x squared plus x plus 2. And that's f of x simply. So that's it very simply. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much and catch you in the next.